Hello, uh, welcome all. Uh, before proceeding, I pay my respects to the Mumurimina people as the traditional and original custodians of the land on which we meet, and I acknowledge the continuing connection of the Tasmanian Aboriginal people to the skies, uh, the land and waterways. I pay respect to Elders past and present. Um, before we commence with tonight's council meeting, please let us all pause for a quiet moment of reflection and respect. Thank you, councillors. Please be seated. Um, good evening and welcome to the Clarence City Council Planning Authority meeting of Tuesday the 13th of February 2024. This meeting is being broadcast live on YouTube and what is said in this meeting is not protected by privilege and there is a link to the agenda papers on council's website. I have number two apologies. I note that Councillor Chong is an apology and that Councillor Hume has a leave of absence. I'd also like to note that um, our CEO, Mr Ian Nelson, is not with us tonight, but in his place, uh, as acting CEO, we have uh, Ms Claire Shea. So welcome, uh, Ms Shea. Item number three, declarations of interest of councillors or close associates. Are there any declarations from councillors? There being none, we move now on to item number four, deputations. CEO, are there any deputations? Um, no, not tonight, thank you. Thank you, um, Ms Shea. We move now on to item number five. Um, which is 5.1, which is a development application for 66 Kennedy Drive and 63 Cambridge Park Drive, Cambridge, for bulky goods, takeaway food, premises and boundary adjustment. There's a recommendation uh, in our papers. I'll call for a mover, please. Thank you, Councillor Mulder. A seconder? Councillor Kennedy. Uh, Councillor Mulder, thank you. Let's hope they build it this time. Uh, Thank you, Councillor Mulder. Councillor Kennedy? Nothing more to add. Thank you, Mr Mayor. <laughs> All right. Deputy Mayor, do you wish to make a contribution? Uh, no, thank you, Mr Mayor. All right. Anyone else wish to make? Councillor James, please. Thank you. Thanks, Mr Chairman. Uh, on page 12 of the officer's report, it refers to the Cambridge Commercial uh, Particular Purpose Zone. And in that, it states that in the last sentence, the shared boundary between 66 Kennedy Drive and 63 Cambridge Park Drive will have a zero a metre setback to the shared boundary. In the performance criteria, it refers to just that matter. Uh, and perhaps the uh, manager of city planning could explain uh, how that deviation um, and obviously having a zero setback has been addressed in the performance criteria, please. Thank you, Councillor James. Mr Ma. Thank you. Through you, Mayor. Thank you, Councillor James, for the question. Um, if you have a look at the um, site plan that is in part of the attachments, you'll see that the proposal is to add on to um, tenancies to the end of the existing homemaker centre and adjust the boundary by about 3.8 metres or thereabouts so that that takes it up to the edge of the boundary. Then on the adjacent property, we have a, a six more tenancies that start hard up to th that proposed end of the building um, and then continue on. So that's where the zero lot setback comes from in terms of they're hard up to that boundary and they'll be separated by the appropriate firewall, etc through the building code. The, um, the performance criteria is essentially there that if there isn't a setback, then you need to consider whether or not it's appropriate um, on the basis of a, a number of items, including compatibility with buildings on the adjacent property. Given that this presents as a very large uh, shopping complex, bulky goods complex, then the division by the boundary will essentially be you won't know because it's just a, a division in the land. The buildings will still present as very large uh, expansive buildings, well articulated in the facade with appropriate parking. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Councillor James. Yeah. <coughs> uh, thank you for that. Uh, Mr. Mayor, I still uh, would like just some clarification on the actual landscaping. Uh, and it may have changed under the local provisions of the planning scheme, but. It's my understanding that a lot of those um, properties along Kennedy Drive 
have in fact uh, have a setback and landscaping had to be achieved within a certain time in relation to that, those properties that are obviously abutting uh, Kennedy Drive. Uh, has that changed now um, in the scheme of things? And so <laughs> prior or in the past, there was that setback and there was landscaping uh, required. Uh, has that now passed by and now we don't need to consider that as a, as a, a whole, as part of the development along Kennedy Drive, or is there now an exception to the rule? Please. Mr Mayor, I'll leave that one to you, please. Through you, Mayor. Thank you for the question, Councillor. Uh, the landscaping proposed um, with regard to the existing development um, that is there is actually a larger setback of landscaping that actually provides uh, a, a better ability to, to screen or, or accentuate the development from uh, the highway. Um, the performance standard within the um, local um, provision schedule of the Tasmanian Planning Scheme has a number of criteria with regard to the, you know, the performance criteria. Uh, it's considered that the initial schematic diagrams demonstrate that they're adequately met. In addition, um, you'll note on condition 25, there's a requirement for a, a detailed landscape plan to be submitted as part of the building application. And condition 26, that there will be a bond taken as part of the development to ensure the landscaping is done to the appropriate standard. Thank you, Mr. Mark. Councillor, anyone else wishing to make a contribution? Councillor Mould, would you like a right of reply, please? Thank you, yes. Um, I think it's just thanks to the, uh, the planner for explaining that the fact that you've got a contiguous set of buildings with, with, with two titles owned by the same person and um, it just makes sense to run them as a contiguous <coughs> title. Thank you, Councillor Mulder, and thank you, colleagues. I'll now put the motion, that is, that the development application for 66 Kennedy Drive and 63 Cambridge Park Drive, Cambridge, uh, be approved subject to conditions and advice. I'll put that motion. All those in favour? That's unanimous. Thank you very much, colleagues. Um, well, that now concludes the formal part of this, of this meeting. Thank you to colleagues and uh, our council staff uh, for your attendance and contributions this evening. And thank you to those members of the public who joined us from home uh, via the live stream. Please end the live stream. Good night.